guys, so today I have a vintage haul for you. I know it hasn't been too long since I've done my last one, but your girl got a problem. <laughs> no, seriously, I have a problem. I can't stop shopping. Especially when it comes to vintage, I can't stop buying. But I feel like this is a small haul, so it makes me feel a little bit better about it. Even though it's only probably been about two weeks since I've done one of these. Oh well. So I'm going to get cracking. I have stuff from three different shops. I will tell you which is which. I'm going to start off with Dublin Vintage Factory. I mentioned these in my last vintage haul. I'll leave the link for my other vintage haul that I've done in the description box if you haven't seen it already. So yeah, Dublin Vintage Factory is done by Kilo. It's, I love it. You just get so much for your money. It's just, it's the bomb. So the first thing I got from there was this dolphin, black dolphin t-shirt. It's so cute. I love dolphins. They're so cute. I literally went in there one day after work. I met my friend and I didn't bring any clothes in because I didn't know if I was meeting her or not. And I was like, Kaylee, listen, we have to go up here and I need to get some clothes because I look like an actor. I can't stand when you come out of work and you still you have to wear your uniform on somewhere. I hate it. it. kills me. So I went in there and bought a top and trousers. Here are the trousers. It's more of these elasticated waists that we know I love. They're just so comfy. Like seriously. These ones are like a shorter length. They're not right down so I like that as well. They sit lovely with docks. Just a cute little spotty design on them. And they is comfy as fuck. Mm -hmm. The other thing I got from there is this red dress. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show this well. but It's this one here. And it's just long. It's a dress but I'm probably going to open it up and leave it open and wear it with jeans and a, like a crop top. As like a kimono kind of thing. I just love the design of it and I love... I love the red of it. The last thing from Dublin Vintage Factory is just this black belt. How am I going to show this? Yeah, it's just this black belt here. It's just got a silver buckle. I don't have any decent belts. And this was only €4. Euro. So for, all, for them four, it was €20. Euro. I mean, seriously, can you go wrong? A top, a dress, a pair of trousers and a belt. 20 quid. No, you can't go wrong. They have their website up and running now as well, so I will leave that link down in the description box. Like I already said. I love repeating myself in these videos, don't I? Then from Tola Vintage, I just have one thing. Tola Vintage is in Temple Bar for any of you that don't know, and they do really funky stuff. They have a website as well. I'm not going to keep saying it, I'll link everything down below. And obviously, not the stuff, but their websites. So I got this rainbow swimsuit. I fell in love with this when I seen it. I love the little detailing. And it's just got a gold Ameria thing on it. But yeah, I love this because of the rainbow stripes. It's just so cute. So comfy as well. I love a, ra a rainbow. I love a rainbow tucked into a skirt. No, Sophia. I love um, swimsuits tucked into skirts. It's like one of my main summer looks. Um, on to Nine Crow then. From Nine Crows I got this. I got this in there. I think it was their sale. Online. It's just like a rain jacket. It has like pull in drawstring waist. Which is very fluffy. I love this because it's so colourful. It's like rain coaty material but it doesn't have a hood. Another jacket with no hood. Well done, Sophia. Do you know, like, I own about 50 jackets and not one. Not one of my jackets has a hood. What's that about? It's not like it doesn't rain here and I don't need it. Like, I live in Ireland. It rains. The next thing I got is this. It's like a... It is... I think it's like one of those beach sarong things. But I, myself, wear it as a headscarf. I'll pop it on and show you now. So obviously I know my hair isn't done right for this kind of headband, but just to show you what it's like on. I am loving these kind of hair headbands things at the minute. You can also wear this on the beach as a sarong like it's meant to be, 
or as a dress that's big enough to be one of those sew-on dresses as well. That was, I never said how much the swimsuit from Tala was. I think it was 30 euro. Yeah, 30 euro. And then that headscarf was 10. And I got another one. It's this purple one and it's got like little beaded detail on the end. So that's the other one actually. I love the beaded detail on this one. It's so pretty. They're so cute, like seriously. It's so cute. So that's the two headscarves. I think this one was eight because it was smaller. Then the next thing I got from Nine Crows is this shirt. Yeah, so I have their notifications turned on and they put up a picture. I went down and looked. It was this shirt and literally walked on my job straight to their shop. Had to get it. Had to be mine. Had to be. And y'all can tell why. You've probably seen this on my Instagram. I've worn it, I think, twice. Well, if, it's, if not, go over to my Instagram. I will leave the link below. But I just love this. It's so colourful and so cute. I wore this over that um, swimsuit from Total Vintage as well in the days. It was so cute together. Then the last thing I got. This is actually the last thing of the whole haul. Is this waistcoat. Seriously. How fab is that? It's got like all little patches and sequins all over. I loved it. I needed some um, to wear to Longitude. Longitude is like a music festival over here. Um, yeah, so I went in there and I seen this and I was like perfect because it was like a last minute thing when the girls from work asked me to go with her because her dad was at the winning tickets or got tickets in his job or something. But she asked me to go, so I was like, stress, need an outfit, panic, like, I needed like at least a week to plan things for that. Look at the little button on this. It's so cute. So yeah, I went and got that and I wore a headscarf and stuff. It's over on my Instagram, go and have a look. I'm tempted to do a blog post on it because I didn't, well I took pictures but I haven't done one on it. But I might, let me know if that's something you would like to see. So that's everything today guys, as I said it's not a big one for once, but sure that's only over two weeks so after what I've picked up, I must stop. I'm not going to stop, let's not lie. Yeah so I hope you liked this video, if you did give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, if you have, thanks and thanks for watching. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.